Welcome to using Layer 7 as an OAuth 1.1a server and client. Today we're going to focus on using Layer 7's OAuth toolkit to implement communication between a server and client, in this case both deployed on a Layer 7 gateway, that will negotiate using OAuth 1 or 1a. First we'll walk through the scenario with the sample application, then we'll show you how to secure an API endpoint using our OAuth toolkit. Finally, we'll demonstrate how to use the sample application to call OAuth secured APIs from other resource providers. As you can see, this application would like to retrieve data from a resource provider on behalf of a user. As the user, I will initiate the process within the consuming app. When I click Access Resources, the application goes to the OAuth-enabled resource provider's predefined request endpoint and asks for a request token. It receives the token and redirects me to the provider's authorize endpoint in order to log in and authorize the request token. By logging in with the resource provider directly, I can give permission without providing any of my private credential information to the consuming app. Now that I am logged in, I have the choice to grant or deny the request. If I grant it, the resource provider moves the request token to an authorized state and redirects me back to my consuming application. Now that I've granted access to the consuming app, this app exchanges the authorized request token for an access token which enables it to access my resources. When I click download, the consuming app is calling a predefined OAuth secured API at the resource provider and passing in the access token. The resource provider validates the token and returns the requested data. All we had to do to secure an API endpoint using OAuth 1 or 1a was include a single bit of Layer 7 policy in front of the API. Let's see how that's accomplished. Within the policy for this API, all I need to do is include this policy fragment labeled Require OAuth 1.0 Token. I would simply drag in this assertion labeled Include Policy Fragment and select the appropriate template. You can see the various OAuth related options, but in this case we'll select Require OAuth 1.0 Token. If we delve into the fragment itself, we can see the various customizable pieces of functionality that it provides. Within the policy, it checks for a valid HTTP method, it finds the OAuth header, it extracts and validates the parameters contained within, it checks for duplicates and for replay attacks, and it verifies its signature. Basically out-of-the-box support for OAuth-based access control for any API. If we switch over to the consuming application, we can see how easy it would be to use this simple client to get started with a different resource provider, like Twitter, LinkedIn, or Dropbox. All we would need to do is edit a few constant values. The consumer key and shared secret, the endpoint to be called, and the three required endpoints, request, authorize, and token. In our next video, we'll show you how this default implementation can be modified to handle applications requiring customizations to the OAuth specification. Thank you for watching.